Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on development of square pyramid. Actually, this is a special type of problem where we are going to see the string wound around the pyramid. So, previously we saw 3 to 4 problems. Those problems are called basic problems. They will be coming under the category of parallel line method and uh, radial line method. And this one is a special type. Why special is we just going to wound a string around a pentagonal pyramid, sorry, square pyramid. So, we will see in detail. Initially, I will be explaining the question. Then I will explain how to write the given data. Then I will explain how to draw the diagram step by step. If you follow all the instructions step by step, then it will be very easy for you to solve the problem. So what they gave in the question is a yes, square pyramid of base height 30 fm. So solid is a square pyramid. <coughs> base diagram is just going to draw a square. So square means we can draw the square in two different ways. See here we can draw the square either like this or like this. These are the two types of square which we seen previously. So these two angles are 45 degree. Here also it's a 45 degree. Uh, so we can draw either this square or this square but what they are asking is they are asking us to draw a square of base 35 and axis 60 rest on its base on ground so resting on base on ground means we are going to draw the base diagram on HP so it is square pyramid is resting on HP with one of the side of the base inclined at 30 degree see you can draw a line you can draw a side so this side is inclined at an angle of 30 degree okay so this is 35 mm and for 90 degree you draw another line for 90 degree you draw another line and you can join this this way so this angle is 30 degree so you have to start your diagram like this put your reference line for draw a side for 30 degree the uh, length of the side is 35 mm and for 90 degree you draw 35 mm 90 degree draw 35 mm just join it up so you will be getting a square like this so you will be going with this type of square okay it should it's not 45 degree equal incline keep it in your mind a yes, string is worn. So whenever you come across a word string means it comes under a special category. A string is worn around the surface of the pyramid from the left extreme point. Mark this word from the left extreme point on the base and ending at the same point. Starting from the base, left extreme, ending at the same point. Okay. Find the shortest length of the string required. Also trace the part of the string in front and top view. This is what they gave. So I, uh, we will be starting with the base diagram. So we are going to draw the base diagram of the square in HP. So the first step is you need to draw a reference line, draw a reference line and write as X, Y, V, P, H, P. We are going to draw the square base diagram in HP. So you need to put a reference line like this, yellow line put I write. Uh, so draw a reference line, keeping that as reference for 30 degree draw a line. So length of this line, length of AD will be 35 mm and angle is 30 degree with respect to the reference line you draw. This reference line should be parallel to XY line. Okay. Draw a reference line, keep that as reference for 30 degree draw a line. That length of the line is 35 mm and from here draw 90 degree. Actually the square which I have drawn is not exact dimension so it will, it will be looking somewhat awkward and all. But when you draw with your uh, scale and instruments you will be getting an exact diagram. Don't uh, just replicate the diagram which I got. So whatever diagram you are getting that is only correct. So from here for 90 degree draw a line for length of 35 mm. From here also 90 degree draw a line for a length of 35 mm. Just to join these two points. So that you will be getting this square. And you can name this square as A, B, C, D. And a center how to fix, fix the center is just join A and C and B and D. So that you can get the center. So dimensioning these are the extension line. So it should be drawn with 2H pencil. And dimensioning line should be drawn with H pencil. 35 and arrow it should be drawn with your HP pencil. Here also dimensioning follow the same thing and uh, put, it as, put it as 30 degree. So right now we have drawn the uh, top view of the square pyramid. Now we will extend and draw the front view of the square pyramid. Now the next step first just extend all the top view points so that you can get the front view. Keep your scale vertically at A. Keep your scale vertically at A. Yes reference. If you keep your scale means you will be getting the point here. Keep your scale vertically uh, reference with uh, respect to B so that you will be getting a point here. Keep your scale uh, reference with respect to point O so that you will be getting a point here. So this is the axis of the pyramid. Keep your scale vertically at D so that you can get a point here. Keep your scale vertically at C so that you can get a point here. Just keep the point. So from the axis, the axis height is 60 mm. So draw a axis line long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. Like this you need to draw it up. Yeah. Fine. 
so like this you need to draw it up so that you can draw the axis line and uh, the topmost point is called this apex since here we are having o here so we will name it as o dash just to join o dash with all the points which you, which you got on the reference line so you can see a right how i am naming a you can see means a dash b you can see so b dash d you can see d dash c you can see c dash so the uh, axis side is 60 these are the extension line you should be drawn with 2 edge pencil these are the dimension line it should be drawn with edge pencil you have to write 60 and arrowhead with your hp pencil right now we have drawn the uh, front view on top view of the square pyramid but one more important thing is c it, whenever you come across a pyramid we have to give preference to slant edges that is oa ob oc od check whether oc is parallel to reference line 100 percentage you won't get parallel you will be getting somewhat inclined line like this so this is not the true slant edge of your pyramid. We have to create a true slant edge. So I will explain how to create a true slant edge. The next step is see here uh, OC is not parallel right. So try to draw a horizontal line like this. Try to draw a horizontal line like this. Now measure O to C. Measure O to C. Try to cut an arc. Actually you will be getting only nearer since for understanding I have just drawn little bit far away. Measure OC. Draw a a reference line yellow color line this line should be parallel to reference line measure oc measure oc try to cut an arc so that you will be getting a point here and try to draw a vertical line towards the reference line this line should be vertical so that you will be getting a point here this point is called a c1 dash just to join o dash and c1 dash so with yellow color line this yellow color line is called the true slant edge okay true slant length okay so draw a reference line measure oc cut an arc you will be getting a point here. draw a vertical line you will be getting a point that point is called c1 dash just join o dash and c1 dash so o dash c1 dash is a true slant edge so you have to measure that and try to cut an arc for radial line method now measure o dash to c1 dash measure o dash to c1 dash for that you need to draw a line <coughs> measure o dash to c1 dash whatever distance you are having draw a line somewhere away from the diagram but you should draw within the a3 sheet draw somewhat away from the diagram so o to a distance is same as o dash to c1 dash distance then what you need to do keep your point o and keep your point a starting point so keep your compass at o and measure till a and try to cut an arc keep your compass at o uh, measure till a and try to cut an arc like this so we don't know the end point of a so what we are going to do is, since we are having square prime means square prime square has 4 sides, pentagon means 5, hexagon means 6. So you have to divide this arc into 4 equal parts. The distance how we can calculate is, see the distance of the edges, A to B, B to C, C to D. So all the edges will be 35 mm, right? So measure 35 mm in your compass, take your compass, measure 35 mm, from A, try to cut an arc, from B, try to cut an arc, from C, try to cut an arc, from D, try to cut an arc, so that you should divide this arc into four equal parts and rub the remaining part. So after that you have to rub it up and join everything. So join everything, so you can name it as, since we are having A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A. So this is, this is the way we need to proceed with the radial line method. This method is called radial line method. We are going to follow radial line method for pyramid and pole. Okay, so since the square pyramid are having visible, I mean edges, we will be having edges, right? So just to join A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. You have to join like this. Okay, so join all the edges. So in question, what they are asking is, they are asking us to find the shortest length. Okay, what they are asking? They are asking us to find the shortest length of this string. So just join A to A. A to A is the shortest length of the spring, string. So just to join. A to A like this. So just to join this point and this end point. So whatever distance you are measuring, this is called the shortest length of this string. Okay. So just measure it up and now just name as a name. So if you measure means you will be getting 11.5 cm or 115 mm or 114 mm. So you have to write like this, shortest length of the string is 115 mm. So you can name it like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So 1 and 1 is lying on the axis itself. So 0, so O to A means here. O to A same distance we will be having. So it will be lying in the axis itself. Okay. So first point we can name it as 1. Leave it. Second is between O to B. Okay. But you need to mark all the points. Measure O to 
to whatever distance you are having same distance you just keep a point on the two slant edge yellow color into name it as two dash measure o to three whatever distance you are having for the same distance you have to measure in true slant edge and keep the point and three dash measure till o to four so whatever distance you are having so same point actually one two three yeah here i did one mistake just a minute see here you have to name uh, measure o to 2 and mark here so whatever distance you are having from o to 2 the same distance you have to mark it as 2 dash whatever distance you are having from o to 4 okay o to 4 whatever distance you are having you just mark it your same point you will be getting so here you will be getting 4 dash measure from o to 3 so here you will be getting 3 dash all these things you have to get in the true slant edge next to what step does just try to draw a horizontal line 3 is between O and C right draw the horizontal line till O dash C dash so here you will be getting a point that point is called as 3 dash or else here also you can name it as 3 1 dash or 2 1 dash or 4 1 dash okay for in order to avoid the confusion so just uh, try to draw a uh, horizontal line here here you will get 3 dash so 2 dash is between O dash and B dash try to draw a horizontal line so here you will be getting 3 dash 4 dash is between O and D so here you will be getting 4 dash now what you want to do is just to join all the points so here is 1 dash see here here is 1 dash it's the base one okay so just to join 1 to 1 to 2 2 to 3 the reverse is should be drawn with hidden from 3 to 4 dash should be hidden and 4 dash to remaining 1 should be drawn with hidden so this is the thread because see if you are having a cylinder means if you are rotate, if you are winding a thread means in front you can see but the reverse or back side we can't see so 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash should be the front portion of the pyramid and 3 dash to 4 dash and 4 dash to 1 dash the back portion of the pyramid so that is hidden we can't see so that's why I have drawn with the hidden line now what we have just wound the thread on different view the same thing we just going to get in top view also by extending all the cutting points see here I will explain that and uh, these things I explained clearly so I will explain how to draw the thread in the top view now just see 1 dash is lying on O dash A dash so here you will get 1 2 dash is between O dash and B dash extend this point vertically in such a way that it has to touch O B so we will be O B O B is here it will be we will be getting a point 2 3 dash is between O and C dash so try to extend this point vertically so between O and C we will be getting 3 4 dash is between O and D extend it vertically here you will be getting 4 just to join 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 1 so whatever we got here is called the thread in the top view so what he has they are asking us to trace the path of the string in the front and top view that's what we got so here you need to write your uh, question number as one with your pro circle and you need to write the heading as development of square pyramid height of the text is 10 mm all dimensions are in mm and scale one is to one height of the text is 5 mm and uh, shortest length is equal to 150 should be written in your box and uh, draw the border with 20 mm 10 mm 10 mm 10 mm so that you will be getting the correct answer so I have clearly explained how to draw the diagram. In case if you have any doubt means you can type in the comment section or if you want us to teach a particular problem also you can type in the comment section so that uh, we will be uploading all the problems uh, whatever you say in the comment and uh, do subscribe our channel and stay tuned to the channel we will be bringing all engineering graphics videos to your doorstep. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe our channel and support our channel by sharing the video to first year students. We also have other playlists and other various journals. Kindly go through all the things. So regarding your job opportunities, we usually used to upload videos regularly. So whichever department you are belonging to. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.